Oh, what's that? We sit around all day watching Judge Judy, Judge Mathis, Judge Joe Brown, Steve Harvey, Steve Wilco, and Murray eating burritos and chicken because all we hire for these commercials is blacks and Latinos. Why not get your lazy ass up and come to ITT, ICDC, Remington Kaplan Career Institute of Technology, where you can go from being a loser without training in a job because all we think you all obviously is a loser to being a loser with training and without a job because we're going to promise you the world and after that year, you'll still be without a job and in debt. <laughs> Fuck, because ain't that what them commercials like? Now, let me tell y'all my own story. I went, well, this was years, well, more than five years back. I went and tried to apply at one of these schools, man. I was trying to, you know, get on track at the time. I was going through a lot. And they was promising me the world. I'm like, man. They go, they take you in this room and they show y'all the slides of the people who graduated and they gave us some orange juice and <laughs> cookies. Then at the end, when them papers come out, the financial papers is when they get you. You're already tired because you have been there all damn day with them basically talking the lights out of you. And yet they give you a tour of the school and everything, show you the girls doing the dental shit and oh, you could be here with them. And then, uh... They sit up there and show you these fi the financial papers. And you you just being ready to go, you just go to signing that shit like, oh, I don't care. But when you think about it, when I go back and think about what I was doing, y'all, man, I went back to them papers the other day because I still had them in the room. Man, them people had me with all kind of high interest loans and shit. You know, they had us filling this shit out. I wish I should have bought them damn papers to work. But, uh... <laughs> Have you in mad debt? And you know it's no guarantee that you're going to get no damn job. So you're going to be there and went through that fucking college, bro. And you're going to get out and be paying for that shit the rest of your life. Now think about people's situations. Since they stereotyping people. Since they only show, you know, blacks and Latinos. And they do have some, like, wild tech that show, you know, the white dude who work on the cause. And I ain't being racist because everything racist with people. The white dude who work on the cause. You dig? And they, the other one's mainly blacks and Latinos. So when do they show these commercials? In the morning when Judge Matthews Murray and all of that bullshit on. So that's who y'all think watching this, right? Blacks and Latinos. Okay, cool. So when they come on the TV and that dude is saying, and it's a black dude with the hat on saying, you sit around lazy, y'all saw his ass. You know what I'm talking about. That's what I was acting like, you know. He basically fucked clean over you. Tell you you're a loser and all kind of shit and join the school. You know, what kind of shit is that? Like, like what the fuck? So, y'all, that's what y'all saying. People who watching this shit in the daytime is complete losers. All right. Get that out the way. That's what y'all think of me. So, you get us in the school and sign all of this shit up. And why am I at home in the first place? Because the fucking economy fucked up. Or even before that. You know, or maybe you just ain't got no motherfucking job. So, I'm going to sign up for this school and I'm going to go there. All right, I signed all the financial stuff. Why am I not getting a check? Because the check don't go to you. It go directly to the school, the books, the course, and everything. All right, fine. But why do you think I need to go to school in the first place? Because I'm sitting at home and I can't pay the rent and jobs and shit. So don't you think y'all should send me the extra money left over or something to put on my rent, my light bill or something? What? Why the fuck y'all get all the money? And I got to forever pay a debt and interest on books. Fucking ITT, ICDC book that I never use in my fucking life again. Who the hell, when am I ever going to use that book again? And you paying for it the rest of your life. Don't get caught up in none of these dumbass schools with that shit, bruh. And they only think we're fucking idiots anyway. Don't do that shit. I think that fool, I mean, Obama's supposed to be make. I think he already passed it to where they can't. Guarantee you a job no more. You probably saw that. Yeah, he got he got it like that because it was ridiculous. I don't think you'll see the ones where they promise you a job. They'll use the uh job assistance placement. Now nah, he made the ass say that. So they're going to jive talk you, slick talk you, you dig, into that shit. And you still paying a debt. Y'all don't do this shit. Whoever watching, don't go to ITT, ICDC, Remington Capleton Institute of Career Technology. They only fucking over you. You're going to go through all of that. And, you know, it do work in some cases. But for most of us, y'all, that shit don't work. I'm telling you, this shit is a scam.
Look it up, bro. <laughs> Once again, holler at me. Son of a bitch.